for those of you that don't know, I do have um, a passion for orchids, and so many people have asked about how I wind up with the orchids doing as well as what they do. So I decided to do a little taping just to give a quick view. I want to show a little bit of, there's a couple of my babies are blooming. They're trying. There's one that's, she's beautiful. But anyway, the trick to it is the terracotta pots using the mulch and either the sphagnum moss or I've even used reindeer moss in the past. And every week or even every two weeks, what I wind up doing is that I take some of them out of the window or wherever they're at in the house. I set them in the sink and then I turn it on hot. And I do mean as hot as what it will go as far as what your setting is. And then I drench these things. This gives me a chance to see if they need to have any pruning done, if they need to have... Um, leaves taken off, like this one's got a couple of dead leaves, so I'll trim that up. Any of the dead stalks, I can go ahead and get rid of them. And I go through and I sort of aerate them a little bit too. I move them around. Now this one needs to be repotted. So I'm probably going to do a bunch of repotting come this spring. Um, and I let the hot water just completely drench them. And I also make a point of, because the terracotta with the plants, they do have a tendency to build up some stuff, um, minerals and calcium deposits build up. So that's why I make a point of spraying the bottoms of the pots, wiping them down, and making sure that all that is taken care of, that they are completely drenched down. And then what I do is I let those set, and as you see, they're draining. So I let them completely drain, and then once the, the pots have completely drained, I'll show you the next step in just a moment. 